Hey, man. What's up, Buckaroo? <clears throat> okay. Uh, Big cat. Mm. Baby boy. All right. Um, pal. Have you ever heard of Palerino? Palestine. Ever- Palestinian. <laughs> Pal- <laughs> Palestine. Have you? Have you? You thought I was going to say something else. Go ahead. Have you ever heard of L W Wright? L W Wright. Yeah. L W W. L W Wright. No, I've heard a lot from L W Wrong. Oh my gosh. No, yeah, it's pretty. You know, <laughs> we're getting started. <laughs> Who's L W Wright? Uh, Is it uh, N T Wright's brother? No. They just they just gave their kids just, initials. Yeah, they actually don't have actual you know that names. It doesn't stand for anything. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, it's just. It's just N T N T and L W L W. Yeah, that's actually it's spelled E L D U B Y A. Oh, L-W. oh, okay, 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 okay. L W. We should N-T do that though. E N T E E N T. You should name your kid F. Just E F F. Should we start an XFL of the NASCAR? Well, heck, if I know, man, we just, <laughs> I, I'll tell you what, we get out there, we go fast. All right, they're coming up to the fourth turn. They're going to have to parallel park here. <laughs> There's no real mirrors. The mirrors <laughs> are just stickers. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it much harder to parallel park. <laughs> the mirrors are subway advertisements. It's really hard to you can't parallel park with a subway advertisement. Things I learned last night. <laughs> okay, uh, L. W. Wright. Uh, F. He, Stone. Okay, he is as Wikipedia describes him an unidentified. <laughs> this description is great. An unidentified American confidence trickster. Um, <laughs> okay, so is L. W. Wright just like a, a a name that we've given him, or is that something he went by? That's something he went by. Oh, okay. Um, and so uh, apparently, a confidence trick, trickster is the a con man. Yeah, a long term confidence long form. Yeah, con man. Con man stands for confidence man. <clears throat> yeah, confidence trickster. Confidence man. trickster man. <laughs> confidence trickster man. Confident. C F man or C T man. Whoops. <laughs> C- <laughs> a confidence frickster man. <laughs> <laughs> Frickster. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so a CT man. A CT man. Con yep. man. Yeah. Con man. You think about how many words we use. I was thinking about email the other day. Yeah. Email. So many kids don't even know that mail is real. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, what do you think about it? Why do we have mailboxes on our house? Well, you like, know, how do you I, put email in I that? mean, there's children who don't know. <laughs> you know, Santa takes email now. He does he really? Yeah. What He's had for a long time. Santa at Santa dot Santa at Gmail. Oh, he doesn't have his own. Actually, URL. It's Santa thirteen at Gmail. He didn't get to it fast enough. <laughs> there's, there's Twelve other ones. Um, no, uh, but I was even thinking about like car, short for yeah. carriage. Oh, really? That's interesting. See how dumb you are. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Things you learned this morning. So L. W. Wright, uh-huh. he's a confidence trickster. Uh, Are you he, just going to use? Why can't you just say con man? I would say confidence trickster forever. Uh, and I so, was wondering if it was like a DB Cooper situation. It actually is. They uh, refer to him. I kid you not, as the DB Cooper of NASCAR. Shut <laughs> up! I am in. Call me L. W. Intrigued. <laughs> Uh, of NASCAR of NASCAR the DB Cooper of NASCAR um, this guy in 1982 just decided you know what um, I'm going to race in the Winston 500 at the Talladega 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 super speedway uh, and uh, Had never raced before I'm assuming uh, well it doesn't seem like it <laughs> well, we'll <go> with that. <laughs> when you watch how he did it <laughs> doesn't seem like he knew what he was doing. He might have, but it's kind of like that Olympic race where all the, the, the girls didn't hand off the baton very well. Yep. You yep. know, they're Olympians, but it didn't but seem it didn't like it seem like it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that was L W um, L W. I hate the way you're saying W <laughs> like he's George. All right, <laughs> old W. So uh, in 1982, uh, seemingly out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, in uh, Hendersonville, Tennessee, 
a guy by the name of William Dunaway contacts a Nashville newspaper to promote a driver named L. W. Wright, uh, and he tells them that he is uh, entering the Winston 500 uh, with the name Music City Racing because he's from Nashville. Nashville, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he says that uh, he's very excited for it because um, he's started in 43 NASCAR uh, Bush Grand National Series races, um, and he is. Uh, uh, Sponsored and again, this is a time when it's pretty hard. You can't just Google that. It's true. You know, this is true. So I feel like I, I, and again, this is something we've talked about before about how I wish I could just disappear sometimes. You know, I miss yeah. those the opportunity to. I also miss the opportunity to catfish society. <laughs> All you know, of society. You really could. Yeah. Cause, I mean, you could get away with it's a true. lot because now if someone Google's you. You know, I watched an interview with some of the guys who were if someone involved Google's in you. <laughs> They're gonna find a lot of stuff from high school like that eighties <laughs> hair band. Hair air band hair, you were air, in. Band. hair air band. Yeah. 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 And that's good. embarrassing for you. Um, not really. You can't I'm pretty proud of that. I, I actually you, showed somebody that like not It's the background on your cool. phone. I was, I was like, hey, this is you a thing a I did. You showed a random person <laughs> you met at yeah. a coffee shop. We were waiting in line. You're like, yeah, my name's Tim, by the way. Hey, also, <laughs> I don't hey. know. Uh, you know, I don't know what your day's looking like, but <laughs> here's I something I did. Here's something I did like <laughs> over ten years ago. But uh, it's the peak of my life. It's no, yeah, I am funny. married. I yeah. am married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look yeah. at that hair. That, that day didn't compare, though. Mm -hmm. Those are girls' jeans I'm wearing. Uh, you'll notice. Um, anyways, so uh, so. I, I it's ironic you said that because I watched an interview with some of the guys that were involved in like. The pulling this off in NASCAR uh, at the time. So they were like the when NASCAR, did NASCAR start. Um, I don't know. Hold on. Let me pull it also, up. Also, should we start an XFL of the NASCAR <laughs> where like NASCAR is very XF legit car. and then we just go. Um, well, it'd be XCL. I think right <laughs> extreme car, car league. league. <laughs> I don't know. We were getting there, you know, but I mean where it's just like the <sighs> I guess it's a demolition derby, but it's just kind of like the rules don't they exist. No, it's football with cars. I know that <laughs> I know that these exist because I've gone to them yeah, like yeah, local, yeah, yeah, local yeah. races local, and stuff, yeah. but I want it televised. Yeah, that's fair. That I want a car jumping off the high ropes. <laughs> you know, I don't think. Okay. Anyways, uh, NASCAR was founded in 1948. Oh, okay. Um, wow. Yeah, so it's been around for a while, and so uh, the interview I watched was some of the like elder statesmen of NASCAR. Like they were the people who were running NASCAR, like the commissioners and stuff. I imagine they have like s like real thick Savannah, Georgia accents. Oh, you know for a fact they do. Um, and there was a guy who he kept record of the races of the of all of all of NASCAR. Okay. Um, and that he was his job, or that's just what he did. <laughs> like, like he was supposed to, or it's just what he did. There's a difference, and you know it. You know, it's like was this man commissioned and paid by NASCAR, or, or is he, he just, just weird? No, he was commissioned and paid. He was the guy who kept yeah, track. He just of got everything. a spiral notebook. Literally, college ruled. Literally, he pulls out a binder. It's a black three ring binder, super thick. Super We're wearing thick. white gloves. He doesn't yeah. touch it if he's not wearing his gloves, <laughs> and he pulls it open. <laughs> Both hands <laughs> just kind of scrolls through. Ah, like a slow badger. Ah, just. L W right. Why does he make that noise? <laughs> ah, it's because the is gloves. it alphabetized? It's the gloves. Oh no. Ah, no. He goes from his. Uh, well, let me check the the let me check the binder because I've kept a record. Let me check the catalog. I've kept a record <laughs> since we started NASCAR, and he opens it and he goes. Oh, L W right. That's <laughs> and you're just like, dude, what is your, uh, you know? And off camera, he's just like, hey, thanks so much for yeah, interviewing for me, guys. By, guys. Really Appreciate enjoyed it. it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, Would yeah. you like to touch the binder? <laughs> you gotta put one of these gloves on here. I have, I have, I have you sample gloves. <laughs> Do you want to touch my binder? <laughs> Bro, just holds it out. You can, I mean, you can flip through it if you want. If you want. Everyone's like, no, I think we're. We're good. We're okay, man. man. Yeah. Thanks. He though. wasn't supposed to be in the documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he he was like he's like yeah he's like so my job 
what I would do is he's a NASCAR said, historian. He would pull his his to the page in the binder for that race, and then he would call the people who ran that race the day after the race, and he would ask them to tell them the stats of the race. Um, and so he could put everybody in their placing and their speed, whatever, whatever stats they kept. Um, and he said, he said, you would not believe how many times I would call these people who ran these NASCAR races and ask them for stats, and they'd be like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> And we just would not have. Hey, you raced yesterday. <laughs> um, hi, this is what's his name? Do we know Cecil? Hi, this is Cecil with uh, NASCAR. Uh, I just wonder what your stats from yesterday were. Um, and the guy's like, "Well, heck, if I know, man, we just—I'll tell you what—we get out there, we go fast." Uh, he's like a Ted Lasso. He's just like, "I don't know, man. We get out there, and go fast, we and the men fast. are just who they're supposed to be." You know? <laughs> like, what does that mean? We need hard data. They're who they're supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, I'm just more, I'm more concerned with these men becoming the men they mean they're meant to be. I'm I'm putting the men in mint. You know what I'm saying? Like you are meant for this. All right. Anyway, thanks. Have have a good day. He's like, well, I don't have nothing to put in the binder. Yeah, and so he's like, he's like, honestly, we have a lot of blank pages in yeah. our records, which is a perfect for L. W. Wright because he will fill them in. Yeah, and so he'll call me like that was me. So yeah, so he said he claimed he was in 43 races. Uh, and he was like, he's like, yeah, he's like, I remember uh, after everything happened with LW right looking back through our records and not being able to find them, but being like, well, just because I can't find them. <laughs> that could have been. <laughs> yeah. Could have been. That's the key <laughs> to a good lie is the plausibility. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it was plausible with NASCAR. Um, here's the, here's the part that wasn't plausible. Um, in that uh, <laughs> in that uh, newspaper article, yeah, uh, claimed he did forty three races. But also said that he was going to be sponsored by country music stars Merle Haggard and T. G. Shepard, um, who did not sponsor him. And immediately, their representatives called the newspaper. And they were like, like "Hey, hey, no." Listen, T. G. <laughs> Shepard <clears throat> <laughs> would like his full name removed from this article. And for one, you spell it wrong. It's T E E G E E Shepherd. If we see one, if we see, if we see one more publication with two more dots, I swear we're gonna, we're gonna lose it. We're gonna sue you. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna S U E U. And so, uh, 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 all of a sudden, he gets yeah. kind of. Local notoriety. Everyone's what was like, the guy's got, name who, who took out the ad? William, a, a guy by the name of William Dunaway. Okay. Um, and so, do we think that's L. W. Right? Uh, it was supposedly his uh, uh, manager. Manager, yeah. Okay. But uh, I don't know. How do you get a manager as a NASCAR driver? Um, you call the guy with the book, the binder. <laughs> you say, "Hey, are is there like, any managers available?" Well, let me check my binder. And he's like. Well, I can't seem to find my gloves. <laughs> it turns so can you out just open it and look. William well, I can't open it without putting my gloves, my gloves on. on. Looks like William Dunway has at least two other drivers. He's representing representing representing. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> so he may Who's have the ancillary. I hate you. Um, okay, so uh, he he goes on and he finds a guy uh, in Nashville who runs a marketing agency called Space Age Marketing. Um, the guy's name is. <laughs> okay. The guy's name is B W Terrell. Dude, all of these people, <laughs> man. <clears throat> B E E D U B Y A. <laughs> Terrell. Terrell. Yeah, B.W. Terrell runs a company called Space Age Marketing. Bro, um, should we go by our initials? Is that the thing to do? <clears throat> yeah, if you want to lie. Well, you went by your initials for a long time. I did for such a long time. TJ, I was thinking about that yesterday. But that's dumb. Oh my god! You know that's like when <laughs> like you know, mine at least sounds like an author. What? J.K. Myers. Yeah. I sound like I write. T.J. Stone sounds like an author. I guess I won't think that because J.K. Rowling, but yeah, J.K. Myers sounds like I write medieval fiction. It, literally anybody, which I do, but I don't really <laughs> say like you it's should read me. my medieval <laughs> it's fiction. Just for me. It's pretty, uh, pretty great. Did I tell you about the um, the Starbucks employee who sent me her erotic novel? Oh, I think you did. Yeah, that was yeah, that's yeah, uncomfy. Uncomfy indeed. <laughs> I only knew her for like two weeks. 
Ooh. and then she was like, "I." She's hey. like, "You're a comedian. I'm also an artist." <laughs> That's straight up how the interaction went. And she was like, "I write novels." Don't laugh at them though. And I said, "Send it. Send it to me." And then she did. And I and you said regret it back. that. <laughs> yeah, it you, was detailed. You forwarded it to her and said, "I think you should keep this." I, I forwarded this. to her and said, "LOL, look at this." Yeah. <laughs> and then I responded and said, "Wait, that was meant for TJ Stone. I'm sorry." Okay, okay. So T E E J A Y <laughs> Stone. J A Y. Love Tillin Podcast and want to support the show? Well, you can support us by buying Tillin Podcast merch and wearing it out in the wild. We have tees, hoodies, shirts, and so much more in our merch store. We also have exclusive merch for every single episode, but those are limited, so make sure you get them while you can. Text Tillin to 66866 to support the show. Thank you so much. Uh, so uh, he goes to BW Terrell. Okay. Um, searching an actual sponsor. Yeah, uh, and here's the thing about NASCAR at the time like most things in the 80s. It was blowing up. Yeah, um, and how much how much did it cost to sponsor someone in the NASCAR? I don't know how much it costs to sponsor the NASCAR. But Listen I mean, to me. you had you had you had to b- purchase a car, right? You had to pay a team and you had to uh, uh, pay for the license to get into the NASCAR and then expenses to get there. So it was pretty expensive. Yeah, um, he gets thirty thousand dollars from BW Terrell. Um, that's like a startup. Yeah, from that advertisement f- from yeah space age marketing really from BW Terrell, not from his company um, as an investment pretty much um, mm. for the possibility of uh, music city racing being successful. Okay, um, and so uh, he he ends up giving him uh, uh, the money he goes and he buys a Monte Carlo um, from an esteemed NASCAR driver named Sterling Marlin and so at what point <clears throat> did they change to the NASCARs we know now? <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about? What do you mean? Like the fiberglass top, like the NASCARs that we know now. Were they ever were they racing with real cars at one point? I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know they're racing with real cars now. I know they're real, but I mean, <laughs> like they're video games. They're not <laughs> like sh- like they're not like cars. You know exactly what I mean. I know what you mean. I'm. I'm. Imagine you're searched. a red light and you look next to you and there is a NASCAR. Um, hold on. Oh, okay. This is great. Um, I'm on Quora. Uh, when did NASCAR stop using real cars and start using shells that look like cars? <laughs> that's that's the question. Yeah. Uh, and this guy uh, commented the entire history of NASCAR. Um, <clears throat> oh. Well, I don't want to know from there. I want to know from Wikipedia. Okay. Well, Wikipedia doesn't say. Well, I mean, I'm sure it does on NASCAR's actual page. It doesn't on the NW right page. Okay. Or LW right. NW right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Early stock car racing. Uh, cut series. Because I know they're called like cars. Well, no. <laughs> I think they still call them Marty Carlos. Do they really? Yeah. They don't look like it. I am aware. That's what I'm saying, Tim. We, you and I, same page. You and I. If I we're looking like we're at the binder <laughs> right now, <laughs> you and I are on the same page of this binder. Okay. Okay. I'm just asking a side question. Don't let me sidetrack you. You know. Okay. How about you get back on the track? Yeah, How about you get back out there? I was sorry for me. Right sorry for me. Track. Sorry for me trying to pace car you. Okay. You know. I'm getting over this. Uh, so Sterling. I tried Marlin, to make a little pit stop. Sterling Marlin was a like. Uh, a esteemed racer. His dad was a really big held a lot of records and Sterling Marlin um, would eventually go on to win Talladega a couple times. Okay, um, he sells him this car for twenty thousand um, dollars, which LW pays for seventeen thousand dollars in cash and then pays a three gives him a three thousand dollar check, uh, which probably doesn't clear. <laughs> and if so, someone gives you part in cash and they're like, I'm going to write the rest in a check, you can assume you kinda, that that cash is well, what you're getting. Yeah, Sterling Marlin right off the bat said he was suspicious of the excessively high money spending um, from LW, right? He didn't even negotiate. I um, told him 20,000 and he was like, okay. But Marlin was, he was suspicious of him, but he said, you know what? I got to see this. And so <laughs> he signs on to be his crew chief. He's like, all right. At Talladega. He's like, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to be a part of this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I'll do that. 
Uh, and so he, he ends up buying uh, new tires from Goodyear, um, parts from Travis Tiller, which is, I guess, another supplier, um, and then uh, racing jackets from Southern Tech Textile, Textile Association. Uh, so they bought all the right stuff. Yeah, they're buying all the stuff that they need. He's the got racing a, he's jacket got, is the most important. That's thing. the most important part. The racing jacket. So uh, 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 I'll be right. Uh, uh, goes on to enter into the the Talladega race. Okay, uh, and you have to do. Can we enter the Talladega race? Uh, it, it's different today. Uh, so is it because it's of LW right? That's I don't think so. Okay. Well, I think probably. Uh, maybe I don't think it's totally, but I think it's one of those things where it's like, you remember this guy and this guy. Oh, and LW. I think it was one of those things. Oh, where okay, it's like okay. We should set some parameters. We should like make some rules here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so at the time, you just had to get a special license, which okay. you just would have to pay NASCAR for. Um, was how you got yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so he bought the special license. You and don't then, got a parallel park on the track, do you? <laughs> <laughs> they take you out there. They make sure that you use your turn signals and. You gotta, you know. I did really great on the cornering yeah. and the passing, and then it was yeah. that parallel park the that parallel really got parking, me. Because you do that a lot in the race. I mean, a lot. All right, they're coming up to the fourth turn. They're gonna have to parallel park here. <laughs> Can they do it? <laughs> you know, Jim. They used to do this better when they were using real cars. Now they're using these fake cars. It's a lot harder. There's no real mirrors. The mirrors <laughs> are just stickers. <laughs> It makes it much harder to parallel park. The <laughs> mirrors are subway advertisements. It's really hard to you can't parallel park with a subway advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> so they uh, he goes to this. He, he buys the the license. Yeah. Goes to the qualifying race uh, and in the qualifying. So he race, did all this with thirty thousand. Uh, yeah, thirty thousand dollars. Okay, uh, and, and so two thirds of it goes to the car. Yes, exactly. Okay, uh, and so uh, he goes he goes uh, to the qualifying race, um, and this was a significant race because uh, in the same race the record was actually broken um, for fastest like qualifying race speed, which was two hundred miles an hour, um, and so uh, L.W. Wright seems a little nervous at this yeah um, qualifying race, and he starts asking. His crew chief's like, "What's wrong?" And L.W. is like. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> he's like, you've done this. I mean, at least forty three times least 43 before, times. right? He's like, uh huh. He he. Well, L W Red's a real person. Yeah, this is a real guy. Uh, and so L W is talking to his crew chief, um, and Sterling Marlin, and he's Marlin, uh, uh, recounted after the fact. He's like, he's like, yeah, he, you know, um, the questions he was acting, or he was asking me, made it seem like, uh. He really was the kind of person who didn't know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just want to make sure the right one's the gas and the left one's the brake. <laughs> like the direct quote was, he didn't seem like someone who knew what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> and when I go on the track, it's only left turns. Well, just left a bunch, right? Like, does the. And this is a serious question. I know it's not really relevant to this moment right now, but does this car turn right? <laughs> can I? Do if I, I go have like this, the ability to if go I do right, this, what happens? <laughs> can it go right? <laughs> does the seat recline? <laughs> What's the Bluetooth situation? <laughs> How long does it take the AC to kick in? <laughs> Heated seats. You know, I, I try to be picky, but I just want to know what options I'm getting. Is there is there a version with heat? Is, <laughs> how about this? Or what's the cash price here? <laughs> what's the cash? Hey, uh, cup holder. How about? Because <laughs> I brought this big gulp, and I, I really want to bring the it. The big gulp. <laughs> I got the big gulp. And <laughs> I got the big gulp and a five dollar foot long from Subway. <laughs> One of the brown <laughs> sponsors. <laughs> and this new album from TG Shepherd. <laughs> when I look by, <laughs> when I look behind me, all I see is Subway because they're propelling me forward. <laughs> Subway, you know, race that's fast. Race fast. <laughs> that's their first slogan. Is the goal to win? Is the goal to go faster than everyone else? What's the? What yeah, are we doing here? Is this, or is it like golf where you want to be the lowest? Speed. When he says, it seems like he doesn't know what's going on. I feel like when you show up to a race, it's pretty obvious. That's what I'm confused by. It's kind of like, yeah, it's a race. You know, you just beat them. You yep. get in there, you drive, you beat them. Yeah. 
I, I'm assuming it's like technical questions. I'm assuming he's asking technical questions. I mean, questions like about he's racing. really prepared for the race too. Like he didn't, you know, he's not hydrating. He's just drinking raw <laughs> eggs and whiskey, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or bourbon or whatever it was. <laughs> Yeah, I I read on the internet it's good for racing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when's the nap? When do we get to take the nap? Is that two yeah. or three laps in? <laughs> hey, so how do I pass the baton in here? Uh, this seems you difficult. See him rolling out, <laughs> driving it around. Are you gonna take this or what? <laughs> we sh- we have to try to get into a NASCAR race. I just feel like we've got to do it. So he ends up qualifying. Uh, he qualified thirty sixth. Uh, which is pretty crazy because he crashed uh, in the race. Yeah, it seems like everyone's going to qualify as we think, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> like they could take 40 people and 38 signed up. Yeah, so it's well, kind of like, I mean, they could take 39 and somehow three other people qualified after him uh, with slower times than he did, even though he crashed. He literally had to crash. Sterling had to come and fix his car like on the side of the track and he had to re-enter on the side of the track. Yeah. Well, I mean they pulled it off, you know, yeah. and then he fixed it and then he he kept going uh, and he qualified 36th for the freaking Talladega Knights. Uh, that's what the race is called. The official name is Talladega. We've been to Talladega. <laughs> we have. Yeah. So as LW that's hollow ground for L- LW. We fans. took our shoes off. We did. We did. <laughs> We wore gloves <laughs> before we step into the air. We have to put gloves on and then the parking attendant was like y'all got to pay for parking and we were like, oh yeah, we're going to go. Uh, That's yeah, fine. We gotta get out yeah. Of here. They're like you guys can go inside. You can keep the gloves. You can you can go inside. It costs twelve dollars to park and then you got to pay twenty five dollar admission to get into the museum over yeah. here and we were like, oh, ah, yeah, we're, we're, like, uh, we're just here to try to qualify just, we, <laughs> in my Honda insight qualification track. <laughs> Is there a hybrid race? <laughs> So race day comes. Okay, for Talladega. <laughs> for Talladega. How yeah. many? How much the time Winston is between? 500. How much time is between uh, qualifying and Talladega? I, Did I he have know. time to figure out what a race was? <laughs> I assume he had ample time to ask more questions. Okay. And make his crew they strategize even more nervous. Uh, I don't know what I, it is. What did the captains think after the qualifying race? Were they like, we're going to go to Talladega? I guess well, they said we made it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're I mean, going to pass up the opportunity. I yeah, guess. Yeah. You're like, I mean, this guy's going to kill himself, but we're here. So this is cool. Yeah, I'm not in the car. <laughs> yeah, and so uh, so they end up going in um, and uh, race starts off just fine. Do you get paid if you qualify? Uh, you get paid based on your position in the race. Um, yeah, I guess I don't know how much money is in this. I know there's a lot. I mean, there is. I think there's, there's probably, a lot. There's of most likely NASCAR. more now than there was then. Okay. I think this is the big. This is the big race, though. So there's a lot in this race even yeah. back then. Uh, and so he starts the race. Um, and uh, uh, here, here's the thing about LW uh, that I don't know if we've discussed yet. He didn't know how to what he was doing. Uh, <laughs> He had no idea what he was doing. Yeah. So um, had never driven a car before. Sterling was talking about it and was like, you know, um, we talked about this before, but he just would pedal to the metal the whole race. How um, fast can they go now? Um, I don't know now. I know at the time it's like that speedway was 200 miles an hour. So the yeah. slowest car that qualified was 186 miles an hour um, at that race at that time. Um, but today they go fast. How fast does NASCAR you got go? Fat hands, dude, that are just like. What are you doing? I mean, you can hear it. <laughs> you got thunder fingers, thunder tips. Yep, that's what they call my. You bailed out of that so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they call my. Yeah, and you just thought it was going to trail off into nothing. We're doing a <laughs> podcast. <laughs> that's the point. You know, we're, your people are going to listen to this episode. <laughs> okay, so. Um, 200 miles an hour still. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's just still fast. Yeah, it is pretty dang fast. Anyways, so uh, so he goes in this race and his thing was he just would pedal to the metal the whole time uh, and uh, He's his, like, this is what I'm supposed to do though. Yeah, I'm, his, I'm not faulting him for that. <laughs> Sterling was like Sterling was like you can't you can't do that <laughs> uh, and so he ends up blowing his engine after 13 laps. Um, you can't pedal to metal the whole time. No. Yeah, you have to you have to pace that engine um, and why like I don't know. I'm not a NASCAR driver. I would have if I I was talking to Sterling about racing. He would say this guy seems like a guy who doesn't know what's going on. Okay, Um, 
which was the same thing for LW, right? So, LW, so what you're saying is when I'm doing go kart tracks, I should not pedal to metal the whole time. Apparently, apparently, because you can blow your engine. You go. I think it has something to do with shifting. I think wanna, it, I think it's because they weren't automatic. Do you want to go karting? <laughs> <laughs> How do you ask that? You know, I don't want to say go go karting because that go, sounds go that's karting? a different thing. You have to <laughs> go go karts. <laughs> you show up with afros and stuff. <laughs> so, but do you want to go karting after this? I, I mean, where is there a go kart track? I don't know. I was in, I'll Google it. Okay. Cool. Let's go go. Let's go Google yeah. go kart. Let's Google go karting. <laughs> let's go Google go go karts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I uh, want to race. Okay. Let's, let's do foot it. race. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't find go karts, we'll foot race. <laughs> if, if we can, I, I would like you to drive a go kart, and I will foot race you. <laughs> and then I'll see. We'll see who puts pedal to metal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so we're here to use your go karts, but only he is going to do it. Hey, Jaren's heart exploded after 13 <laughs> laps. You gotta pace that stuff. You know, <laughs> you gotta. You really gotta pace it. You know. <laughs> Sir, we can't let you just run next to the go kart on the track. Well, it's not gonna <laughs> catch me. You know, like, oh, don't let me do it. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, who's gonna chase you around? You a think I'm track gonna show up and be like, car is running. Can I please run around your go kart track? No, I'm just gonna hop the fence and do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, like a streaker. What do you think? I'm gonna be fully clothed. <laughs> yeah, but like a streaker. Yeah, I use the word like. Do you think does that happen at NASCAR? Do people streakers? Streak? No, absolutely <laughs> not. You get obliterated by a car going 200 miles an hour. Well, the upside is you don't have to look both ways. You know, you know where it's coming it's from. Left. But they're totally fast, left. dude. They're really fast. Actually, I did watch a whole video about how angled the uh, mm -hmm. track is. They're like berms. The berms. Yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Oh, okay. That sounds like a slang term for the suburbs. No, the berms. That's burbs. I know, burbs. but I'm saying anyway. They're very. They're like. I mean, what? Thirty six yeah. degree angles. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, um, they're more angled than your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I sit weird. Okay. You know what, Tillin? We're not just a podcast. We're a ministry, and our hope is to continue to reach more people with the light and the joy of the Lord. Because remember at the center of all this, the core of who we are, our main objective is to fiddle off the devil. If you want to help support us in that ministry, please join us on Patreon where you'll get ad free episodes, exclusive merchandise, a discord channel where we can discuss everything you want to talk about your dreams, your ideas, your problems. Text till into six six eight six six. Do you feel that relief? Anyway, here's another advertisement. Uh, so he finishes the race in thirty ninth place, which is last. Um, At Talladega. Yeah. Okay. Because he blew his engine, um, and he receives a prize of fifteen hundred forty five dollars. Um, so. Ooh. Uh, so he's made some of his money back. <laughs> recoups a little bit of his money back. Um, here's what's interesting. Um, didn't get any points in the cup because he was a late entry to the cup. How much did first place get? Um, I don't Does know. it say? It doesn't say in this one. Um, I'll look it up. You got to anticipate my questions. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that! You're gonna break my screen. Um, what are the payouts for NASCAR? Sound like we're doing Foley for a Civil War film. Uh, so on average, the winner takes home forty-seven thousand dollars per race. Oh wow! Um, while the loser makes close to eight thousand. That's not current these days. No, that's current. Oh, that's current per race. Forty-seven thousand for winning. how many times do NASCAR people race a year? <clears throat> Hold on. Look at us doing just research on the fly. We need a research intern. If you're interested in applying for that, um, <laughs> get a life, dude. Like we don't, <laughs> we can't pay you. <laughs> all right, find some friends. Don't try to be our research intern. Do something better with your life. Uh, if, if I said that and you were like, I would love to do that, you're a problem. 
Not you have a problem. You are a problem. Go ahead. It's a 36 race season. Oh, wow. The, so if you win months. every one of them. Yeah, but I mean the odds of you winning every single one, but I mean well, even Jeff the loser Gordon did it even the loser last place it said to makes takes 8000. So if, oh yeah, I even mean, if you, you lose every you single lose one every of them race, <laughs> you make more money than probably all What's of us eight combined. times 36. Where's my calendar? Oh my calculator. <laughs> Where's my calendar app? <laughs> It is 288. But you got to pay your team out of that. True. You know, True. pretty good money. If you don't have a team. That's if why you, do you it lose. Alone, Bro you're losing. Can we qualify? Can I mean, we qualify? how hard is it to qualify? Anyways, so we need to tell the story about LW right. Sorry. Um, so LW right. I'm just uh, trying to think of side hustles. He gets fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the weekends, <laughs> on the weekends, uh, Monday through th- Wednesday, I door dash. Uh, and then on the weekends, I'm a NASCAR driver, <laughs> but like not a good one. It's you vertical know? integration. And the, Driving, so the whole I week, I'm pedal to the metal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like DoorDash, I take the, I put the dash in DoorDash. <laughs> And then I use that same car. What if you're delivering DoorDash <laughs> in a NASCAR? In Have a they NASCAR. done a collaboration yet? They should. Hey, if we're in a, we are an app. We're a media company now, just yes. so you know. So yeah. NASCAR, if you see this, which I doubt you will, but DoorDash, you do. much more likely you'll see this. Mm-hmm. Um, if you see this, hey, listen, we got some ideas. We're ready to race. I want to go fast. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. So okay, so <clears throat> he literally uh, loses. He loses. Crashes the car. His team is pulling the car off the off the track. He By hand, his, he can't goes, even afford a tow truck. <laughs> he goes and picks up his prize money from the prize money <laughs> deck. I don't know where that. And then pieces out. Literally gets in the team semi and just leaves. And what well, he drives it. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. gets in the team semi and leaves. Blows the engine thirteen miles down the highway. <laughs> yeah. He pieces out. He don't know how to drive anything. He pieces out and nobody ever finds him again. Literally disappears off the face of the earth. It doesn't sound like a good con then. It just sounds like he <laughs> lost a lot of money and, and then drove a semi off a cliff. <laughs> well, I don't think this is a con. <laughs> I think this is just a sad man. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. Okay. So after this, he disappears uh, and then uh, a bunch of people started realizing the checks he gave him were bouncing obviously and so his landlord he I don't <laughs> accept checks <clears throat> his landlord um, had forty five hundred dollars worth of bad checks um, from L W Wright. Uh, there was uh, ten thousand dollars that he owned of the United Trappers Marketing Association, uh, which I don't know where that the came trappers? into play. Yeah, I don't know where that came into play. How much did he owe him? Uh, ten thousand dollars. It's all the traps he was set. <laughs> Uh, and so uh, the check that he paid the last half of for his car. He set out a big Island. cage out in the street trying to <laughs> catch a car. <laughs> <laughs> he said I could spend ten thousand dollars on traps or I could spend twenty thousand dollars in a car. I'm going to trap a car <laughs> trap a car. <laughs> no, he just you didn't know what he did was he bought one of those like boop those the uh, the boots <laughs> car boots just sort of booting people's cars. He's like, this one looks like them, that'll throw go one of their cars while they drove by. That'll go fast. That'll go really yeah. fast. He thought they were like pokeballs. He would just throw them at cars. They gotta catch by. them all. <laughs> That's how I do it. So he uh, 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 he d- he disappears and then the NASCAR uh, <laughs> uh, 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 South Central Bell, which was an AT and T company. Um, all of uh, the Goodyear tires, Travis Tiller, Southern Textile Association, and Sterling Marlin, they all had checks bounce from him, um, uh, totaling like, uh, gosh, like $40,000 worth of bounce checks. So he gets multiple warrants out all for that for $1,500. <laughs> he made the money, though. He made the money. Uh, and so he gets all these warrants out for his arrest, and people start looking for him. Sterling Marlin um, is trying to find him, but the person who wants to find him the most is the guy from Space Age Marketing, B.W. Terrell, because he's like, I invested thirty thousand dollars in this guy, yeah, and he sucked, uh, and he wasn't who he said he was. He didn't race in no forty three races because then uh, <laughs> B.W. Terrell hires a uh, private investigator to find this guy, which is the guy like, from Knives Out. <laughs> 
he's, he's like, I want my money back. He's and like, I'll find your money. <laughs> and so he's like, he's as like, soon as I find this man's gloves, <laughs> this, man's gloves. <laughs> <laughs> this guy the historian had to hire a PI <laughs> <laughs> to figure out the results of the races. <laughs> Well, I'm doing a documentary next week and I can't <laughs> seem to find my gloves. <laughs> well, that's all right, Mr. Historian man. They both have the same <laughs> accent. Same. I'll find your gloves. <laughs> and then they're just searching around his two bedroom house. <laughs> <laughs> I know there are bigger cases, <laughs> but this man can't find his gloves. <laughs> And they're trying to find just it's it's interesting because the carpet's brown uh, the whole house like the white gloves you'd think would you would stick think out stand out. Yeah, they didn't but that PI described later. We say this man did not seem to know what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> the PI. That's what all of our podcast reviews say as well. <laughs> these, is guys, that these guys do not do seem not to know <laughs> what they're doing. <laughs> So so the PI goes and he talks to all the all the racers from those 43 races. He was supposed to oh. and all the racers are like, yeah, we don't know that guy. Um, pretty yeah. sure he wasn't a racer and so how do racers talk. Are they cool? They'll be like, yeah, no, they're smoking. <laughs> Obviously, it's the 80s. It's the 80s. They're just like, yeah, I don't know. Him. I don't know. Yeah, no, a little more southern. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Him. Yeah. I don't know. Well, uh, I don't know. Him. Uh, that's too southern. like it's okay. cool southern. Drop out Southern. <clears throat> Heck, if I know. There you go. There it there is. There it is. That's there good. It is. Hey, that's we should do a movie. Out. You're a good director. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. We see how we just got into character just there. There it is. There that's it is. Great. Okay, so uh, uh, the PI. Uh, hey, am I gonna catch whatever your hands got? We just we just touched <laughs> yeah, knuckles. Yeah, you will actually. <laughs> uh, so the PI uh, ends up basically coming to the conclusion that uh, L.W. Wright doesn't exist. Um, on account of the fact that he doesn't. Um, there's no record of anybody named, named L.W. Wright um, living in Nashville or ever. <laughs> Just kidding, but not living in Nashville where he claimed he lived. Okay. Um, and so they're pretty sure he was working under an al- alias. Um, and they tried to contact all. The well, again, it's knew. pretty easy to just like just disappear or go by a fake name mm-hmm. at that time because I mean, like, I was surprised with the. You know, ever like so many documentaries about the Ted Bundy stuff, mm-hmm. but the fact that he can just disappear to like a county twenty miles down the road, yep. and then nobody and knows. live and just be yep. fine like yep. that's it's the eighties. It was man, possible. I miss it. Uh huh. But where the story kind of went from like crazy to crazy uh, was when uh, a few months after the race, um, everybody's looking for him. Nobody can find him. He's got all these bounce checks, all these warrants out for his arrest. He ends up jumping his car like out of an airplane over South Central Washington <laughs> and spilling money in the I river. was going to go a different. I was going to go a different <laughs> route. I'm glad you went DB Cooper. I was going to go n- haven't heard from him in so long and then in the deserts of New Mexico. <laughs> there's a police officer at night <laughs> and a car speeds by going 200 miles an hour. <laughs> And he takes off down the road after him, and then he's he's, he's on the radio. <laughs> you know, he's on the radio call and dispatch. He's like, dispatch. I think I got L W. I got L W. <laughs> and they were like, who? L and he's who? Like, he's like, excuse me, don't you watch NASCAR? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is Lonnie. And they're like, yeah. Ever actually, ninety eight. This is true. This is a true stat. Ninety eight percent of NASCAR fans are named Lonnie. <laughs> That's like a common thing for that demographic. So here's the thing. Uh, the theories. I, I'm just well, saying the, he did this for fifteen hundred dollars. It doesn't yeah, make sense to me. Here's the mo- here's the problem. Yeah, the motivation doesn't make sense. Right. If it was like if it's seven hundred thousand, right. There's obviously. no connection of who he is. Do you just the, want to race a car? The theory. Yeah, it doesn't make sense because here's the thing. It couldn't have been money. What are your he theories? Only made fifteen hundred bucks. Let's be critical but, about this race. <laughs> Why don't you share your critical race theory? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Yeah, I do believe in CRT. Let me tell you about. <laughs> let me tell you about LW right. All right. <laughs> I don't know why this is so controversial, folks. Uh, <laughs> Here's the theories. 
he, he could have been doing this for one of three real reasons, right? Yeah. Money. Okay. The fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> the thrill. Well, I guess he made out with the other fifteen thousand. He didn't make out with it, but you know what I'm talking about. He's not I mean, kissing. I guess money. It w- n- not even because he spent it. He spent, he spent all, all of it. Well, he spent seventeen thousand dollars in cash. Yeah, but that leaves. Car. I mean, that leaves thirteen grand. Here's the thing, plus it, the fifteen hundred. You know, that thing, leaves was, fourteen five forty five. If this was just a money con, then he would have took the money from Space Age Marketing and just pieced out after that. That is true. Like, why would you go risk your life? Because you want to race. NASCAR? <laughs> It, when you could just be like, ah, oh, I just I don't know. Are they now. risking their lives? They're not heroes. Let's oh, not like, <laughs> let's not make them out to be like they're putting their lives on the he finish put his line. Life on the you know, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a documentary though. They're putting their lives on the finish line. Um, the other possibility is it was for the thrill, which is yeah. I mean that that sounds way more legitimate because one, you get to race a car, <laughs> yeah, and you get to drive a semi. <laughs> Who doesn't want to do both of those things? So the, those are the two that that's the one that's the most believable to me. The other the other theory that's been proposed is that it was like almost like a bar bet that like he was hanging out with oh, his friends and someone's yeah. like you couldn't make it in a NASCAR. And he's like, yeah, I could and then it, this is him going to make it in NASCAR. Here's the problem though. Nobody's ever found him. You would think found that if him. this was a bar bet, yeah, he, he would, would have been proud brag of it. about it, <laughs> yeah. and somebody would find him after that. Yeah, but I mean, then, well, then think about what happens though. Is you do this elaborate thing, yeah, and then you get warrants for your arrest. I suppose, and that's where you go. Oh, I can't talk about it. Maybe, we should maybe, maybe, like my, he probably tells his friends and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like, like I don't like, want to hey, get arrested. Here's an NDA. Let me tell you the coolest thing I ever did. <laughs> Here's a non disclosure agreement. Here's an ND <laughs> agreement. And <laughs> I'm LD, I'm LW Wright and DB Cooper. Here's an ND <laughs> agreement. <laughs> Are you saying ND? ND. Is yeah, this an like independent a, agreement? This is an independent NDA. Yeah. Is an IND an agreement. ND ND. Signed by my lawyer from Indianapolis. <laughs> it is an indie indie. <laughs> indie. <laughs> and we're going to sign it in Delaware. Indie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I was in North Dakota. It also works. <laughs> a little yeah. less of a stretch. Okay. And I'm a medical doctor, so <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's an indie indie indie. A signed an indie by an MD. And my soul is just empty. I'll tell you what. So, <laughs> so I uh, that's an indie 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 a signed an indie by an MD who's empty. And let me tell you why my soul is empty. Let me open up my binder. There was a let fiddle. me <laughs> let me open up my Bible to the NT. <laughs> All right. So now we're looking in the NT to sign an indie 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 a in ND by an MD who is empty. <laughs> Okay, we can fit on this out. <laughs> <laughs>Hey, if you like this episode, we've got more of them you can watch here or just some highlights, some of our favorite parts from episodes before. Please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future episodes and leave a comment and let us know how we're doing. So thank you for being a part of this community. We'll see you again on the next episode of Things I Learned Last Night.